Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is, so. Oh, what time is it now? It's almost 10 o'clock. Temperatures hovering around 37 degrees. It's cold out here and I don't, I don't suffer cold real well. So, but I'm gonna try some more things to see if I can get this uh, CA160 Honda, Bentley, uh, to at, at least sputter a bit. It's got 190 pounds of compression in the left cylinder. I think that might be one. I'm not sure. And uh, 37 pounds in the other cylinder. Uh, I think that may just be some crud stuck in the valves. I'm not real sure. Uh, when I first did it, I think it was reading zero. So it it improved from zero to 37 at least. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the points up a little bit. They look real good. Actually, they, they look uh, better than most of them, most motorcycles I work on. But uh, we're going to clean them up anyway with a little uh, 600 grit sandpaper. And uh, then we'll see if we can get, uh, this is battery ignition, not magneto ignition. We'll see if we can uh, get a little spark down there to them. If we can, then we'll check it at the uh, spark plug and see if we're getting spark up there. So here we go. All right, only one set of points. I forget what they call it, but I think Probably on this one, uh, the pistons both go up and down at the same time. But one is on the power stroke, one's on the exhaust stroke, and so on and so forth. And so it, it sends spark to both spark plugs all the time. That's why there's only one set of points and it's a two-cylinder. So it kind of a new concept to me. Most of the stuff I work on is uh, old uh, Yamaha two-strokes. <laughs> so we'll see where we end up here. Let me get some... Oh, I don't know. Not easy to get in there. There it goes. Let's see, I don't know if that's a 14, looks like, let me see if I can find a wrench to just turn this over with easily. I just want to make sure I know which way it's turning. Yeah, it's supposed to turn counterclockwise, right? Yep, counterclockwise. So, what do we got here? We got, yeah, that's, it's got some dots in there. I don't have a book. Oh, there we go. We got two marks there. And 180 out from that. Wait. Is that top dead center? Probably. Let's see if these uh, points are even moving. I can't see them move. So, we got to get the cylinder to top dead center. And... one mark uh, 
Ah, let's see. We want the intake valve closed. Let's see what we got here. Wow, I just about can't see it do anything. valve is closed on this one. Now it's opening. So we're in the intake stroke. Coming up. Valve is closed. Let's see where the points are. Do we have a mark there? We don't. I think there's some kind of a mark there. Looks like a little O down there, a circle. So that could be intake. And the point should open right about then. No. I cannot see The point's ever opening, so we definitely got a problem. And I don't have a book to tell me how to pinpoint. I wonder if I have to take this off. I'm going to have to get a six point socket to do that. But it's a 14. All right, there might be marks that have to, dang. I wonder, I got a, a 125, a CL125 that's a twin cylinder. And it, it's basically the same configuration. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna go read up on that and try and figure out let's make sure we're getting power down down here key is currently off let me take this if I turn the key on we should have power here Not sparking at all. Oh, got juice to it, but it's not, we don't have a good connection there. So let me uh, sand that down a little bit more. Probably this. Let me go get some um, brake clean and spray that a little bit and make sure we get that clean. Right. 
we got it now. Let's turn it around a little bit and see if it actually opens anywhere. I don't know if that did that. Yeah, it's sparking. All right. Let's take one of the uh, new plugs. And put it in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe, maybe not. Try and get a little closer. This on there. I can hear it snapping. It could be that I'm on the other uh, plug. So let's go around again. Or maybe it wasn't grounded. Go 180 out. I do not see a spark on this plug. First thing I notice is this uh, spark plug boot is probably shot. So I'm going to need new spark plug boots and probably need to cut back the wire as well. I'm going to stick this in there anyway and see. If we can get a spark out of it. Nope. No spark. Wait. I got a headlight. Ha! <laughs> Ain't that amazing. Let's see what else I got. <laughs> I couldn't have much else. because there's no bulb in it. <laughs> so I won't have a brake light either. But I have a headlight, so that's good. All right, so I'm not sparking at either plug. And the wires are and uh, spark plug boots are suspect. I'll be back. Well, folks, I uh, tried to uh, cut back the uh, high voltage wires and put the caps back on, even though the caps are in pretty bad shape. 
I've ordered a couple of caps and I finally came to the conclusion that I should probably order a new coil as well. Um, I looked at it real close when I was opening and closing the points and I could see just a very light uh, spark sometimes. It was it was rare, but I saw it sometimes across the spark plug. So uh, I think that coil is probably bad. And, uh, you know, after how many 60-some years, why it probably has a right to be a little bad. So anyway, I've got a new coil and a new uh, spark plug caps on the way. And when that comes in, I'll give it a try. I did find out one other thing. My starter is not working. It worked for a little while, but uh, it just turned it over a couple of times and then died and now it won't do anything. So I put uh, six volts directly to the starter lead and uh, it still wouldn't do anything. So uh, I can still start it with the kickstart. Uh, so when those parts come in, why I'll get them on there and we'll try it once more. Everybody have a great Christmas and uh, Happy New Year. And uh, like and subscribe too if you want. <laughs> we'll see you later.